Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create swimming pool multi-port valve rivet family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to rivet, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to rivet. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Pipe Accessories for Family Category and select Valve Normal for Part Type. Set and select the Class Number. Go to Front View. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 134 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 73 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 37 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 61 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 60 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Offset 0 mm and create similar and lock to reference plane. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. 
Go to Create. Select the Revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 198 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 30 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Join the geometry with each other. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 35 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the sweep. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw another circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 88 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. 
select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 22.5 degrees. Select the existing reference plane. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 45 degrees. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 10 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw an ellipse. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in 3D view. Draw a rectangle. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the sweep. Select the geometry. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the plastic. Replace plastic black glossy. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. This is Bold Nut with Washer Revit family which was created in FaceBase family. I will use and load this created family into this main family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Select the family. Set 8mm for nut size value and 20mm for nut offset. Select the family and mirror to opposite side.
check in 3D view. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select pipe connector. Set 50 mm for diameter parameter. Select K coefficient for loss method and select fitting for system classification. Save the family. OK. Swimming pool multiport valve family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.